with dolphins as escort. Now see way to the Adelphi. and southeastern to Skandura, the ancient Skandira, according to Roman Plinius at his grand work The Natural History, which together the satellite rock islets Coraca, Strongylo and Polemica form absolutely deserted geographical monuments. But if you trace through semi-closed paths and at live vegetation, with cypresses and cedars, you will see the structure of an old monastery with a central church of Evangelistria. Glorious Echo, some Anhoritis, an unexploited ecotouristic Eden at present. At Peristera, with the shape of a pigeon, equanimity and harmony fill the landscape. But in its sea space, an Athenian hoy of classical period rests on sandy bottom. And with 4,000 amphorae to synthesize a sensational jigsaw puzzle, 30 meters deeper from azure surface. At a nice gulf, port of necessity, Byzantine ships of Emperor Nikiforos Phokas, with his leading, find shelter waiting for the weather to be calm, as they come after Arab pirates and then the Gulf denominated Vasilikos. Today, exiguous families send two or three big fishing boats disturb the tranquility of discernible wrecks. Kirapanaya, another island of Sporades, what we would call uninhabited if there were no monks on the holy monastery of Megisti Lavra, of Mount Athos, who came here and livened the monastery of Panaya. Aloft on the rock, the path conducts to a scenery where as you approach, you will see the cupolas to pop out from an elevated grapevine, and in front, the small vineyard on land to present indirectly a wine from Mount Athos. Countless the visitors who ascend the path, leaving back the blue-green water, and here, at Pelagonisi, the Cove Planiti seems an excellent port for the Armadas of ancient kingdoms, as much again for the Corsairs. The opposite pole is the Cove of Agios Petros, and at the homonymic islet, the overland and submarine archaeological finds highlight the earliest organized town of insular Aegean. Without doubt, the Lilliputian islet Papus is the minimum sample of the mythical conflict of the Titans. But the picturesque small church Evangelistria, the wells and the relic of the windmill magnify the presence and multiply the silence. At Eura, covered with bushes named Frigana, there are species of wild goat, Capra egagrus, and the foresters here focus on the conservation of bio-reserves. At Eura, gapes high the big rocky arch, the Cyclops' eye, Farther away, at the cave with rich decoration in stalactites and stalagmites, 
found human bones over two meters and here we assume that was the island of Cyclops in the well-known story of Odyssey. Excavations at Cyclops Cave show that people used the cave from the 9th millennium before Christ. Tools made by obsidian from Milos Island and fishermen's bone hooks elevate the anthropic being and the prehistoric navigation, while the ceramic pieces of art incised with marks like fancy work go to Zenit in the 6th millennium before Christ. The most eastern island of Sporades is Piperi, the core of the sea park which is strictly protected. An oblong mountain bulge without harborages, with impressive coverage of pines. The miscellany of coastline secrets, decades of seal caves, and the aftermath is to be characterized as a place with the most precious refuge for Mediterranean monk seal, Monachus Monachus. Except for the thousands of pines with the signs of gum resin collection, the Arboretum complete holly, frigana and hasmophytes, while the inaccessible rocks are dwelling for some hundred pairs of Eleonora's falcon, who monopolize the panorama of archipelagos and the chromatic feast of the waters. Sathura is a volcanic island, a floating disk in the Aegean Sea, with maximum height, half the one of the tower of its famous lighthouse. Walking on raven pyroclastic rocks and lava, you watch that amazing color of the seawater. The heather covers everything, and some lizards make you feel like Darwin at the Galapagos Islands. The seaside with shoal waters and the blown sand have an imaginable beauty, strictly an exotic paradise in mid-Aegean Sea. A lot of hours doing snorkeling in the sea scenic filled with rare reflection at wide seagrass beds of the seaweed Posidonia oceanica and of course the kaleidoscopic fish fauna. There, at Madraki, there is a sunken ancient city because of the eruption of the volcano, about 1350 before Christ, and someone can localize well enough remnants from masonries and foundations of ancient temples. Here is the supposed Hrissi, the last port for Jason during the campaign of the Argonauts to Colchis, for the covetable wealth of the Black Sea in the name of the Golden Fleece.
The Xi lily is the absolute beauty and its populations charm any visitor. In a similar manner, the outstanding stone build and conspicuous pharos of Psathura diffuses its appeal and beams its light from the focal height of 40 meters.